Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in to the first video in the Let's Play series that's going to be covering one of the most amazing computer games of all time, Deus Ex. It was released in early 2000 uh, slash 2001, it was patched up through there, and uh, yeah, it is just an amazing game. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm a total fanboy for this series, so if you hear me kind of being all, you know, squee, I love it. Well, it's true. So what I'm going to do for this video series... I'm going to start off by giving you the backstory, just a little blurb about it. I uh, took it from the Steam page. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and look at character customization. And then, unlike the tutorial video where I kind of had a little fun, you know, kind of goofing off, I'm going to take a rather serious approach to it. And by serious, I mean we're going to run around, I'm going to explain how things work in the first level. So this video you're going to see, I'm going to kind of introduce how your inventory works, how the augmentations work, etc. And establish the baseline for moving forward in the series. Once we've established how the game works and what to expect, then we're just going to pretty much rely on a system where I'm going to explain how I'm going to approach the situation. I'm going to tell you right now, I do prefer the kind of sniping uh, stealth pistol type of play, sneaking around, uh, a little bit of hacking as well, but I also do like to throw in a little bit of uh, a little bit more aggressive direct play as we level up the character in the game. So that's just kind of the play style we're going to be watching here. There are multiple ways of beating the game. There are multiple endings, and this game kind of set the precedent for the years to come for games that go for heavy uh, immersive style play. Uh, FPS RPG elements are both present, and let's see let's go over the information for the introduction real quick and then we'll proceed onward so the world or the year is 2052 and the world is a dangerous and chaotic place terrorists operate openly killing thousands drugs disease pollution kill even more the world's economies are close to collapse and the gap between the insanely wealthy and the desperately poor grows ever wider Worst of all, an ages-old conspiracy bent on world domination has decided that the time is right to emerge from the shadows and take control. No one believes they exist. No one but you. And that last part they touch on, that whole world domination thing, it's uh, one of the really cool things about this game is that there are a lot of kind of conspiracy theories that you'll see are touched upon in this game. Not going to give away any major spoilers, we'll definitely see as the game progresses, but uh, the conspiracy theories that are in this game are built upon real-life conspiracy theories. So basically, if you hear it mentioned in this game, chances are, well no, not chances are, a fact, somewhere, someone believes it. Also, as we're progressing through, it is 2052, most of the, uh, you can see the background, uh, New York remains intact with the exception of the uh, Statue of Liberty there which is uh, touched upon in the first mission. It's based on real-world locations, so what the game developers did is they took the blueprints for those spots and actually created the environments in-game and modified them ever so slightly for the futuristic environment. So that's just another way that they helped with that immersive feel. And without, without uh, progressing much further with the story, let's go ahead and start. We're going to do this playthrough on Medium. And here is the first area that you can actually do character customization. You can pick from five different skins. And I do have a, a little bit of a texture pack installed. I also have a couple modifications that make the game a little bit uh, uh, flow a little bit smoother. But I'm not doing all of the modifications out there. I also, if you want to play the original game with a higher resolution than I think 1600 by 900, you will have to get one of the modification packs. There are links in the video description down below to find out all of the information that you need about modifying Deus Ex, uh, you know, Deus Ex 2. So you can go check that out. There's been some pretty good guides. But what I've got now is what we're going to go with because I think it's a nice blend of uh, simplifying some of, the, some of the more quirky aspects and trying to stay true to what the game originally looked like. So here you have the ability to change your name. I'm actually going to change to Anaris. And these are the skills that you can adjust as you are leveling up. Uh, as you complete missions, score kills, you do actually gain skill points. Um, the skill points gaining through kills are actually, that's something that is in one of the mods here. I think they kind of tweaked with the experience a little bit. But I think it'll be fun to play with that here on this Let's Play. Now you can see each, uh, each little skill has a blurb about it explaining the level of performance that you can expect from each rank. For example, 
untrained electronics, an agent can bypass security system. Trained, the efficiency level goes up. And you can see all the way up to master, and it's just ridiculously efficient. Um, if any of these things maybe you're kind of not, not uh, sure about, there is a tutorial video that or we kind of run through the uh, tutorial and use the basics of, uh, of the game mechanics. So you can check that out. And different levels adjust to different ways. Like obviously with electronics, you use the multi-tool faster. But with the pistols and the rifles, your target reticle when it's untrained, it's really wobbly, especially when you're zoomed in. It takes forever to actually get a good shot. And upgrading these skills, for example, improves your ability to use those weapons. Now, personally, I do like to go for a uh, for kind of a rifle pistol approach. Also, I do like to get computers at least to trained, so that way I can hack ATMs, computers, and security consoles. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade that right off the bat. Here are the points needed for the next level. You can see it's now up to trained. Here's my remaining skill points, 3875. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and probably bust up pistol. Um, reason I'm going for that is because in the early game you're going to find pistol ammo is the most, it's the easiest ammo to find. I am going to get my sniper rifle uh, leveled up higher as, that'll probably be the next thing we do, but for now I find that having that pistol, uh, you know, be able to zoom, or not zoom, but uh, kind of focus your reticle really quickly it will help you a lot. So let's go ahead and start, we'll watch the introduction video, uh, we'll explain the, how the game works, and then we'll watch the mission. Your appointment to FEMA should be finalized within the week. I have already discussed the matter with the Senator. I take it he was agreeable? He didn't really have a choice. Has he been infected? Oh yes, most certainly. When I mentioned that we could put him on the priority list for the Ambrosia vaccine, he was so willing it was almost pathetic. This play, the rioting, is intensifying to the point where we may not be able to contain it. Why contain it? Let it spill over into the schools and churches. Let the bodies pile up in the streets. In the end, they'll beg us to save them. I have received reports of armed attacks on shipments. There's not enough vaccine to go around, and the underclasses are starting to get desperate. Of course they're desperate. They can smell their death, and the sound they'll make rattling their cage will serve as a warning to the rest. Hmm. I hope you're not underestimating the problem. The others may not go as quietly as you think. Intelligence indicates they're behind the problems in Paris. A bunch of pretentious old men playing a running the world. The world has been behind long ago. We are the future. We have other problems. UNATCO? Formed by executive order after the terrorist strike and the statue. I have someone in place, though. I'm more concerned about Savage. He's relocated to Vandenberg. Our biochem corpus is far in advance of theirs, as is our electronic sentience. And their ethical inflexibility has allowed us to make progress in areas they refuse to consider. The augmentation project? Among other things, but I must admit that I have been somewhat disappointed in the performance of the primary unit. The secondary unit should be online soon. It's currently undergoing preparation and will be operational within six months. My people will continue to report on its progress. Necessary, the primary will be terminated. We've had to endure much, you and I, but soon it will be order again. A new age. Aquinas spoke of the mythical city on the hill. Soon that city will be a reality, and we crown its kings. Not better than kings. God. Okay, so right off the bat, we can see we are landing on Liberty Island, New York, at the Anatco headquarters. We are here on a dock, which is dropped off from this police boat, and already we can see the first-person environment, which we are, are accustomed to. Heads up, JC. Your brother Paul is on his way to meet you at the dock. The NSF is raiding the island, and shots have been fired. I repeat, find Paul. I will monitor your situation from HQ. All right, so first objective is to find our brother. In the meantime, though, we are going to use this crowbar, knock off these crates. Paul, I thought you were in Hong Kong. Welcome to the Coalition, JC. I might as well start using your code name. Think I'd miss my brother's first day? Didn't think you'd have a choice. What's going on? The NSF. They hit one of our shipments. A few of them got away, but we trapped the rest in the statue. What are we waiting for? Looks like a textbook assault. The NSF took one of our agents hostage. The bots are holding the perimeter, but my orders are to hold back and send you in alone. I think someone high up wants to see how you handle the situation. All I've got with me is a pistol and an electric prod. I don't mind a test, but Unaco better issue some hardware. 
Remember that we're police. Stick with the prod. It'll stun your opponents or knock them unconscious. A non-lethal takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. Just in case, though, Manderly wants you to pick an additional weapon. A sniper rifle, a gep gun, or a mini crossbow. So now we are presented with the option here. I like to pick them off from a distance for the rifle, the gep gun, it's kind of like a rocket launcher, and the crossbow. Silence. So I like I'm to go with the sniper rifle. Distance. I'll take the rifle. This isn't a training exercise, JC. Your targets will be human beings. Keep that in mind. I get the idea. What's the first move? I'm going to give you a map of the island. If you can get to the north dock, a UNATCO informant will give you a key to the statue doors. He responds to the code phrase, iron and copper. You could avoid a lot of fighting, though, if you found a back way to the statue. I'll see how it looks on shore. Your primary objective is the makeshift command center the terrorists have installed at the top of the statue. But don't forget about Agent Herman. We think he's being held on the ground floor. What are my orders when I reach the command center? Interrogate the leader. We don't yet know why the terrorists would risk an open assault. So now we have a clear-cut objective. We have to make it to the top of what's left of what's the Statue of Liberty. Situation, Corporal? The bots have them bottled up, sir. We'd go right in if it weren't for the whole back order. How'd they get one of our agents? Gunter went rogue on us. When the order came, he wouldn't pull back. Now you get to bail him out. And in addition to interrogating one of the terrorist leaders at the top of the tower, we also have to rescue one of the agents. They come this way. I got him, sir. That was left inside. It's very important to uh, explore your environment. Uh, case in point, right here, heading down that ladder at the uh, entry point. Do you gain access to some additional materials? Get up the stairs here. All right. So now we're back at the entry point. Just go over a couple things real quick. Number one, you could see the items down in the bottom left. Weapons, health kits, etc. Your currently equipped ammo. And our weapon is in the bottom left. Up at the top left, we do have the health, also a compass, and in the top right are your augmentations with the hotkey assigned well, to I it. Certainly see the family resemblance. So now we're going to head up here, take out these crates. Now, one thing you can do if you want to conserve some ammo early. NSF everywhere, JC. Your orders are to shoot on sight. A UNATCO informant on the north dock can get you inside the statue. Look for the bomb. Identify yourself with the phrase iron and copper. Right, iron and copper. One thing you can do, this is a security bot. Again, reviewed in the tutorial video. That is on your side is indicated by when you mouse over the crosshair. You see it is uh, yellow. You can pull some of these mobs back. If you want to make a covert approach, remember the Academy Stealth Course. Stay out of their field of view, walk slowly to stay quiet, and crouch behind cover. Or if you have to get your hands dirty, remember that a headshot is a lethal takedown. Yes, anyways. You can see I'm dragging this mob back, and what should happen? The robot should engage, kill him, and there's some free uh, ammunition, tools, whatever. Like in this case, we're going to gain a bunch of uh, 10 millimeter rounds. Who was that? I didn't see a uniform. You see, even though I had the center of the reticle beside the head, the bullet still veered off to the top left. So keep that in mind when you're uh, when you're firing. You can increase the accuracy accuracy of your weapons as you play. Couple crates of TNT. Watch out when you're shooting in a uh, firefight. You definitely do not want to hit those. There are a lot of soldiers littered around the base of the statue and with this little mod that I have it, uh, it does give a little bit of experience. When you get the headshot, I think it's 15 for a headshot, 7 for a kill. I think we've got yep, sure enough. 15 for the kill there. So, looking down here, it looks like there's a bunch of soldiers way over to the right. We're actually going to head back over to the left to show a couple different things over there. Now, I did try to adjust the brightness settings a little bit, but 
one thing I want to point out, this game takes place, all the missions are at night. So you can expect to see uh, a lot of darkness when you're playing. And uh, I mean, that's pretty much just natural. Oh, thank got it. You can see running and shooting does not work very well. It doesn't lend itself, uh, doesn't lend itself very well to the run and gun style of play early. So just use that as an example for you to show you. It's probably best to go with the stealth, or at least slightly covert, option early on. Quite the badass looking helicopter there. Inatco HQ is the entrance for it. It's sealed off right now. We'll wait for that to go away volume died down a little bit, and then we'll uh, interact with this guy right here. There we go. Freight base is under lockdown till the danger's gone, Agent Denton. Right. How you guys holding up? UNATCO Command made us pull back. I guess for Gunther's sake. What's the deal? We're ready to go in. I can't speak for Command, but I'm gonna clean the place out. I hear you. Manderley's right. You nanoogs are born and bred killers. I do my best. Better load up. There are some crates of ammo stashed in the antenna shaft behind the helipad. Might also want to check out the combat next to it. The code's 0451. Thanks. I won't let you down. My tactic, when there's no cover like this, is to pick them off from 50 or 100 paces with a scope. What do you think? I scored an extra one from a couple of thugs we dropped down by the dock. You can have it for 700 credits. I also picked up some 10mm ammo and some crossbow tranquilizer darts. Say, 200 for one, and 60 for the other. Shouldn't you turn that stuff over to the Quartermaster? Sure, I will. As long as Command has the rest of us on parade drill, someone might as well put this hardware to use. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the pistol ammo. 10 200 millimeter. for 10 millimeter ammo. Sounds good. Time to clean house. Time to clean house. Yeah, I don't like uh, that helicopter is so obnoxiously loud at the start. But here we are at that little uh, antenna area. Right there. He did give us the code. Here's the keypad, so we're going to put that in. Setcom, Unetco001. That's the name and password for the security terminal. So now we've gained access to that terminal. We can turn the camera off or on. We'll turn that one off. Door unlocked. Door open. And we'll turn this camera off just for the walls. Notice you can also pan and zoom. So that'll actually help you out a good bit when uh, we'll be going for a covert approach. Alright, gain a little bit of XP for a uh, exploration bonus there. So now we're going to continue on, and I'm going to go a little bit more covert like. We did show at the start what happens when you try to directly engage with a run and gun tactic. Doesn't work so well, so now we're going to use a little bit more of a uh, sneaky. Sneaky style. Be careful. The NSF has set up patchwork security systems here. Gotta watch out for that robot. He's pretty much immune to small arms fire. I'm gonna try to use the charger prod, but I keep the gun out while I have a range just in case he turns around like right now. It just so happens I happen to be close enough to hit him with that. But when you're running around and you want to use the, the uh, charger prod, you're really going to want to keep your pistol out until you're in range. So here's a little notepad. It looks like the security comp computer login is NSF001. Password is Smash the State. Deus Ex veterans probably have that name and password engraved into their heads. The NSF put a commercial grade security bot in this area. You can either avoid its patrol route, or, if you're feeling lucky, try and take it out with the EMP grenades or explosives. 
I wouldn't recommend taking it on with small arms. Yes, indeed, that thing will shoot out a barrage of bullets, taking you down rather quick. So right there we can see there is one soldier patrolling around. I believe there is one with a sniper rifle on the other side of this structure. So we'll wait for a good opportunity to take this guy out. Make sure the robot's gone first. Again, just keep the gun focused on him. And oh, boom. Just gained a crap ton of ammo there. And I think the robot's going to be coming fairly soonish. Let's see, where is it at? Way over there. Okay. There's a turret and a camera off in the distance. That is one of the entry points. You'll find a lot of the levels have redundant ways of accomplishing the mission. It's mainly geared towards uh, the different styles of play that you can employ in order to, uh, to make it through the game. Here we have a locked box. It requires four picks. Don't really feel like using four picks, um, among other reasons. I only have one right now. So we're going to wait for that robot to go by. Okay. We'll scurry on along right behind it. There's one guy with the sniper rifle over there, and another patrolling around right here. Let's see if he turns. is going to be coming back, so I'm going to hide right here in the shadows. Well, partial shadows, I think. He might see me, he might not. Either way, I'm going to keep my gun on him, and we'll just see. I think we've got an yep. intruder. So, take him out. Headshot. Usually a one-shot kill in the first parts of the game. Later on, you do face opponents that have armor, so kind of got to keep that in mind when uh, trying to engage. We do also have the ability to hide bodies, so if there are a couple couple enemies walking around and you do a silent takedown on one with, say, the crossbow, uh, you want to run up, pick up the body, and then put it in somewhere that's shady, like right over there. If you don't, the, uh, the other person walking around will run up to the body and suddenly go on high alert looking for you. You know, why is this bad body here? I just realized this modification gives you a crap ton of ammo. Jesus. I think I might actually, this, after this level is over, I think I'm going to take this modification off. One of the really fun parts of this, we're running around in the vanilla version, is uh, the fact that you have such a limited ammunition supply. So one of our first objective is to touch base with a man on the northern docks, an informant. See if he can get us uh, some additional information about entry into the statue. We probably just could go ahead and rush up there now, but... It all happened an hour ago. The barge docked and the NSF moved right on in, offloading the cargo into speedboats. Our undercover man, Harley Philbin, should be somewhere out on the docks now. Watch out for the other guy now. I think he 
has a dart gun. Yes, he does. Excellent. And that's a takedown. over here. It looks like this is a uh, good place for a bum to hang out. It's about time you showed up. Iron and copper. The statue is copper on an iron frame, right? Password's enough, pal. Don't think you know something about the lady I don't. My dad did tours out here. I heard that you can get me inside. Depends. You get your man out, take back the statue, whatever. But I know the commander and I don't want to see him get hurt. Here's a picture so you don't make a mistake. You can trust me. I'll take your word. Here's the key to the front entrance. The commander's not much of a soldier. He'll surrender as soon as he sees you. I need him alive because he's my main contact at the NSF. If he's dead, I don't have much of a business. Thanks. All right, a couple additional weapons in here as well as a flare. You the Philbin? I get a cut for bringing him over. Tell me what you know about the NSF operation. I'm not that high level. The more elite troops, they're the ones that took over the ship and unloaded it into speedboats. I think we're supposed to be a diversion. A ship? That's all I know. The commander gave me a 10 millimeter clip, a box of 30 odd 6 ammo, and some crossbow darts, and said keep your head down. Huh. Like I'm gonna take on your NATCO troops. Want them? You can have the clip for 175, the 30 odd 6 for 300, and the darts for 50. But if I was you, I'd avoid a head-on attack altogether and not even use the key Philbin got. I'd go in the statue from the back. Less security that way. I'll take the 10 millimeter clip for 175. Put a slug in the commander for me. He's the reason my brother's dead. All right, so we'll head back now that we have made contact with the informant, who turned out to be a bomb. Oh, forgot. I think there was actually a health over here. Yes, indeed. That is one thing you really should do. I mentioned earlier at the beginning of the level, always be aware of your surroundings. And more so, there is, I think, a ship down here, actually, that uh, you can swim down to if you have a good lockpicking skill. Uh, open up that hatch right there. I don't remember what's down there, actually. I think it takes two, uh, two lockpicks. I only have one right now. Robots on our side, even though he always scares the crap out of me every time I walk past him. And now we'll see if we can pick this guy off with the pistol. I think there's a few of the patrols around, though. Actually, we might not even have to engage him. Hazmat suit. That's not good. This power box must have been damaged in the raid. Don't cross through the arcs. I'm also picking up an EMP field here. If you're not careful, it'll suck away your bioelectrical energy. So you have a couple different ways of uh, accomplishing this task, getting past the electrical surges there. Number one, you can always get on the lifter and walk over it. Or number two, you can use a tool to disable it. There we go. And now we have gained access to some goodies. Let's see what we got. Weapon modification clip. A weapon modification laser. Alright. So we'll look at that. Increases the clip capacity. Ooh, that'd be very nice. 
You know what? I think I'm actually going to uh, let's see, laser targeting. Put that on the pistol. Let's put both these in the pistol. You can see how it interacts now. Clip size, six rounds. So now you see plus 10% equals seven. There's the base damage right there, the percentage modifier. And you can just kind of get the stats and a little bit of uh, flavor text about each individual weapon. I do like that uh, the developers put this much effort into uh, kind of making sure the atmosphere is as immersive as possible. Oh, and I think uh, there's a ladder there. What could that ladder be for? Oh, look! A multi-tool. So there's the laser pointer, even though it's apparently way off. Wow, really? Jesus. That's... <laughs> that's not very helpful. As a matter of fact, that's about as not helpful as you could uh, possibly be. Apparently I fail at laddering. Here. Looks like we are approaching the top, so we'll kind of keep our head down. Right there is what's left of the head of the Statue of Liberty. There's a little bit of text about that in just a second, and I'm actually going to see if I can activate it here. Hold on. We'll see if we just can't take, can't take this guy out. that France was wrong to give the U.S. the statue. We think they planned the bombing. Very disturbing thing to see. Very disturbing. But like I said, it's part of the immersion, and it's one of those things that really just kinds of, uh, you know, sets the precedent for the game here. First mission. Oh, shit. Tat statue of Liberty is uh, all screwed up. All right. Well, that's what we're walking into. engage around this corner because if he shoots and he misses he's gonna hit that TNT so let me see if I can actually just pull him back the sniper rifle untrained is actually pretty difficult to use you see right now he just I'm not even touching the mouse it's just wandering all over the place So you see, I either completely... Yep, okay, it looks like I nicked him. And now his friend is going to hang out there. That waviness does go away when you level up your, uh, your rifle. Looks like a uh, fairly easy way to get to the base of the statue there, where the feet are. I'm actually need to. I need to take care of the agent down below first. So we'll see about that. All right, that's gonna be something to watch out for. Okay, looks like no patrols from behind, so that's good. We'll head down now. I 
All right, that is something we're gonna have to uh, take care of because we don't want that camera activating. That turret will chew us up. And now the turret is no longer a threat. There's actually a computer console down at the entrance. I think there's also another one over in there that lets you control that turret. And you can set the turret to shoot at allies, enemies, everybody, or nobody. So we see two individuals walking around here, one at the base, one on the second floor. I am, am sure there are more walking around that we just cannot see. I think there's at least two of them in there. Yep, we just saw one walking by. There are also ventilation shafts littered around the room, so if you want to take an entirely stealth approach, you can do that. You see how I shot that guy, and it did aggro him. He's going to be running down, and also that guy is going to come up as well. So we're going to retreat, actually, come to the top, kind of wait for them to funnel up this ramp here. Excellent. Okay, now we have still have way more ammo than we could ever know what to do with. is being held okay, behind this laser triggered it. alarm. If you don't want to set off the alarm, you can either hit the control panel or, away, or find a way around. The blueprint of the statue shows a few air shafts. Yep, there's that second guy. He did trigger the alarm. He does see me, so I'm actually going to retreat up here. All right, F12 activates one of your, actually this is the, the only augmentation that you currently have, uh, flashlight. Turn that off, you can just kind of see into the uh, super dark areas. All right, there's that login information again. This is the alarm terminal, something you do need to watch out for if you think you're going to storm a room with multiple enemies. And uh, of course, wounded ones oftentimes do run towards the alarm. Um, or sometimes even with the first shot, another mob will run towards an alarm. You can come over here with two multi-tools with my level of uh, electronics and disable it so they don't have anywhere to run. Also, that annoying sound is a laser fence. This security setup is strictly amateur stuff. Keep an eye out for ways to bypass it. These old pre-millennial buildings are riddled with ventilation shafts and maintenance tunnels. Yep, and we're going to use one of those to our advantage right now as we are bypassing the fence to come possibly from a different direction here. Just picked up a multi-tool. Alright, that is a door, which could be a uh, back entrance. We'll give it a shot. Okay, looks like it's safe. There is the trapped agent. Alright, making progress here. Still here, one camera though. All right, there's a turret. Gunther's in that room. One of our top agents. Fantastic. Another weapon modification. Accuracy. Do I have a pick? Yeah, there we go. Okay, come on. Glad you're not hurt, Agent. Command should not have left us to be surrounded. Risk is part of the job. I think you lucked out this time. 
Agent Navarra and I were ready to go in, but for no reason they said pull back. I do not retreat. Please give me a weapon and move out of the way. First thing is to get you out of here. I'll handle the enemy. Excuse that I have forgotten your brother Paul Denton and the infinite power of nano-augmentation. I just can't spare any arms. Please retreat to a safe location. Go ahead. Advance up the stairs to the command center at the top. I will take my rusty metal bones and sweep away into the junk pile. You do that. This is actually one of the few texture modifications from the pack that I have. I'll go through Harriman here. You uh, can see he looks a lot different than in the original now version. Now I see the reason for the pullback. They wanted to show off their new nano-augmentation technology. In the original version, he looks more like a fish. It's kind of, kind of unsettling. And now you see this, uh, this actually extends in a different direction. That's where we came out, and this keeps on going. So let's go see what's behind here. desk and a med kit and it looks like an account number and a pin for an ATM machine there is an ATM machine out in the lobby so we will go check that out real quick actually we'll probably hack that don't think we've done any hacking just yet Excellent. Turn that flashlight off. There is a limited amount of energy. You can replenish them with those little discs that I lit looted at the beginning of the game. These right here. They regenerate, regenerate 25 energy per use. Water fountains give one hit point per use. They do have a limited supply. And don't think you can actually allocate where they go. This is your health. You can see torsos pretty banged up right now. I have four med packs. So I'm going to go ahead and use one of those. Also, we'll get the right leg healed up as well. So now I'm looking pretty good. This time, instead of using the name and password, let's use hack. Little meter starts ticking down, and somewhere along the line, depending on your level of hacking, it will initiate the menu over here, and you'll have until the timer runs out to accomplish your goals. So withdraw 100, cancel that out. And if you don't, uh, if you don't accomplish your goals in time, it will uh, sound an alarm. So we have rescued the agent. The next step is to proceed upwards toward where the terrorist leader is, interrogate him, and take home the bacon. Mm. Did they find the shipment? Yeah, we got the whole supply. You can see the ship's lights crossing the bay. Guess y'all were right. So why aren't we pulling out? Mike's on the horn. Jojo wants a lead on the distribution network. Yeah. We don't have enough men to protect what we've got. That's what Jojo wants. I wonder, how does a guy with a tattooed forehead get to be an NSF current? Pardon me, but back in Alabama, we wouldn't let a man who wears earrings plan a military operation. I'd watch what I say about Jojo. He's got a temper. He's a punk and he's gonna get us all killed. The NSF is strong because it represents everyone's interests. Yeah, yeah. There is a lot of uh, a lot of kind of conversations that take place in the game. Sometimes they'll be pointless, but other times they'll kind of give you insight into uh, the environment that you're in, the world. In that case, you kind of get a little glimpse into the NSF, the terrorist organization that we're trying to eliminate right now. And since we did hear two individuals, we actually have two grenades right now, and I think this will be a good time to uh, take advantage of that. These have the ability to stick on walls as well as... Uh, be thrown so what we're gonna do is let's see should we throw it should we stick it on there let's throw it they found us all right looks like uh, just nailed two kills there nope hear that somebody's running around See if we can find out where they're at. 
One thing you can do if you want, you could also throw a lamb, the uh, the grenade there, on the wall, shoot a dummy shot, pull him over to it, kill him that way. Oh crap, that's not good. Those things hurt. And of course, now it picks the uh, the time to start reloading my gun. Excellent. So now we are in a little bit of a pickle. We do need to run and hide here while my character uh, keeps taking that damage. You can see the health indicator definitely dropping. There's also a med kit over here. Got that guy. Looks like he was the one that had the darts. So we should be clear, should be knock on wood, to run up there. Gunther has reestablished contact. He says you helped him escape. Good work. All right. Now, that's uh. Oh, hold on. Some news, JC. The NSF targeted a shipment of the plague vaccine Ambrosia. We can't locate it. See if the leader will surrender when you reach the command post. We'd like to interrogate him. I'm going to use what just happened as an example. Yes, I did mess up. I'm going to say take full responsibility for that right now. Should have handled the other two guys coming down better. But you'll notice that I did actually... Oh, hey, there he is right there. I did actually, I was aware of the level, where I had been, and I had a fallback point. That is something you're pretty much going to want to actually do while you're running around the level. You know, if you decide, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to engage a couple forces, something unexpected will likely occur. Now, you always need to have a good fallback point, so be aware of your surroundings at all times. And if you need to fall back, go for it. Make sure you have a good defensive position that you can uh, you can hold your ground on. Also, be aware of how many med packs you have. You saw how I kind of quickly uh, used the ones that I had running away there. So it's fine if you panic a little bit, but you need to make sure that you can channel that energy into uh, into actually following through with a backup plan. Easy. We want you to take this one alive and conscious. Find out what you can about the shipment, then turn him over to one of the troopers. Alright, right up there is... Okay, there we go. Right up there is the end of the level. That's where the guy we need to interrogate is. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to touch base really quick before we run up there. That if you want to avoid a lot of those scenarios where you have a whole bunch of people running out of you, I would suggest one of the more stealthy techniques right now. Um, we're using kind of a bulky pistol. You actually get a stealth pistol later on, and that is my favorite weapon. I love the hell out of that thing. That and the crowbar and the charger prod are that and the sniper rifle when you get a silence or a um, yeah silencer on it. It's really really nice. I love that tactic. So that's just my play style though. We'll head up here now and uh, conclude the mission. Don't shoot. I surrender. So you think you know better than FEMA what to do with this month's Ambrosia shipment? You're too late. It's on its way back to the people, and you can't do a damn thing about it. So here you have the choice to either kill him or save him. Tell me about the shipment, and I'll order the troops to pick you up as a prisoner instead of a corpse. Ask away. We already won this round. Where are you taking it? We're just giving ordinary people the same chance to survive as the bureaucrats in Washington. You'll have to unload New York because the choppers would spot you at sea. I think the government made the plague on purpose to get rid of the population growth. Well done. I will pass on your orders to the troopers. Report back to base on the west side of the island. Mission complete. The Fantastic. Chief finally let us loose. We were right behind you and cut through them like a hot knife through butter. Indeed. 
So that item I just picked up was an augmentation canister. That is how you upgrade your abilities. Actually, I'm sorry, that's how you gain the abilities. There are different canisters to upgrade them. So as we're heading back here, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I did, uh, there were some mistakes that I kind of did on purpose and some of them that I did not. Obviously that one at the end kind of was a uh, faux pas, but I still try to use it as a good thing to teach off of. In the beginning, we saw how it's not always a great idea to just run and gun. This is not Quake, this is not Doom. You don't want to just run in there shooting everything, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can later on to an extent, but still. Uh, you want to have at least a small amount of uh, a small amount of stealth running through the early levels here, and actually looking for where was it that I got off at? I think it was over here. We'll hop off and go down the way we came in. Maybe there we go. Oh, crap! Okay, yep, that was definitely, uh... <laughs> uh that was embarrassing. Alright. Can you tell I haven't had any sleep? We did that live stream, and, uh... I've actually been up most of the night. Wanted to get this stuff done. And I just figured, hey, why not? If I end up looking like an idiot in the video, the process... That's alright. We still had fun. We're gonna make it through. Now we'll just head back over to the uh, Yanatko headquarters and call it a day. Thank you guys very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, we had a good time, had some fun, learned uh, the basics about the game. And like I said in the beginning, once we're once this video is over, the rest of the missions, we're actually going to focus more on the gameplay, uh, execution of the strategies, uh, going over that before, uh, before we actually do it and uh, then moving along the levels and experiencing the story and the game for how awesome that it actually is. They sent us in to pick up the pieces. Yes, indeed they did. So now we have arrived at Yanatko HQ. This is where you come to turn in your missions for the first part of the game. Plenty more cleaning house to do when we chase these sons of bitches into the city. Tell me what you need. I'll check back with you later. We've got the island secured. How did things look in the statue? The leader surrendered. So they were after Ambrosia. A month's supply for the East Coast. We think they've taken it back to the city. I didn't know Unatco handled the Ambrosia distribution. Manderley will brief us shortly. Unatco makes sure the limited supply of vaccine gets to government agencies and key industries. It's good to finally see some action. Yeah, well, pace yourself. You killed a lot of people tonight. I'll handle things out here. You better get to Manderley's office on level two and report for duty.